The trim to boundary feature in Cubot V3 is really a powerful feature or function. You find it within the trim button under the modify routine. So after you've done your pattern quilting, uh, push that button, you set your boundaries and place your design. And now you're modifying it in the space, you can choose the trim button. So when you press that trim button, you're, you have the choices of trimming to the top, bottom, left, right, and the center checkbox is trim to boundary. When you trim to the boundary, it actually trims to the contour of the boundary shape that you've chosen. So unlike top and bottom or left and right, where it trims to the uppermost, lowermost, leftmost, or rightmost point, it actually trims to the contour. And this is really useful if you're putting an edge-to-edge -edge design inside an inner border or, in, uh, or any kind of border actually where the termination points are within the patchwork space. A traditional edge-to-edge -edge where it goes off the edge of the quilt from one end and across the quilt off the other edge. And when we would trim that, we just used it to save thread basically, save some time and save thread. And what those trimmed portions look like, they were basically vertical lines for the left and right. They get trimmed off before the binding goes on the quilt and nobody ever sees them. Well, in the case of using trim to boundary, it's a much more precise method of trimming and it allows us to take an edge to edge going from an inner seam to another inner seam. And because it trims to the contour, we don't have to worry about those endpoints being perfectly vertical and getting into parts of the quilt that we didn't want uh, to show. So that's what makes the trim to inner boundary so nice. Now that's in a basic, the basic sense. The other thing that trimming to the boundary allows us to do is use things like edge to edge designs or even block designs that are meanders and so forth by using that, those designs in conjunction with trim to boundary, it allows us to fill blocks with stippling, for instance, or I'm going to show this neat football shape on this demonstration, allows us to fill those with patterns with them being trimmed nicely and perfectly to the boundaries. So it almost looks as if you had to go into the computer and design this perfect um, quilting line and then have it fit perfectly into your spot. Well, now with Cubot V3 and trim to boundary function, you can use any edge to edge design and it'll do it automatically. So let's get started on the quilt. On the quilt, I've got this football shape and I've got an inside football shape uh, cut out of it. So I'm going to choose my outer boundary, then my inner boundary, and then we're going to place an edge to edge design in it. We're going to quilt out the first row of that edge to edge, which doesn't fill up the whole space. And then I'm going to do an overlay, modify it, and then we're going to do the bottom section. So it'll take two passes to fill this space for the purposes of demonstration. So let's get started. Uh, over here on the tablet, I go into pattern quilting and I'm going to take my time and set these points nicely because, because it is a curve. I want to set enough points to keep this, uh, keep the boundary looking curved. If I set only three or four points in the top and bottom, it really wouldn't be a curved football shape. It would be a truncated uh, octagon or hexagon. We don't want that look at all. We want it to look like a curved line. So it'll, this will take me some time, but I'll get these set up nicely and then we'll get quilting. And we want to set an inner boundary shape to get that inner football shape uh, captured. So we press yes. And since we don't have any more inner boundary shapes, we'll call it good at that and we'll say no. 
and the design I want is within the designers folder. It's an apricot moon leafy design that I'd like to show. And here uh, I think it's probably a little bit too dense, so I'm going to modify it. I'll expand it just a bit, move it up, and I think I like it just probably just about like that. And what I'm going to do is turn on my trim button, and now we see the trim function. We see top, bottom, left, right, and the center feature, which is boundary. We're going to trim to the boundary press OK. And we also have choices to jump stitch the inner boundary and jump stitch the outer boundary. Now jump stitches are just what they, what it sounds like at the points where the, the design crosses over the boundary, inner or outer boundary, it will stop stitching. And it basically converts the single one line design or a continuous line design into a multi-segment design. So when it hits the boundary, it's going to say it's going to stop and ask you to continue, skip the next segment, or exit. You can skip segments of that multi-segment design, which might be handy if you're using jump stitches at the end of the of the quilting where it's just a little piece of the quilting and it's not worth stitching out anyway you can skip some segments and that's that's perfectly fine. For the purposes of the demonstrations, just to keep the stitching going quickly, I'm going to leave jump stitches off. So where it hits, when it hits the inner boundary, it's going to travel along the inner boundary. When the needle hits the outer boundary, it's going to travel along the outer boundary. So I am going to uh, leave those unchecked, press done and it processes the inner boundary and then processes the trim. And there you can see it on the screen. That is what will quilt out, just what's in that segment. So let's move to the start point. I'll put my foot on. And pull up my bobbin thread. and press go. Okay, so that's the first row quilted out, and I chose my boundary nicely, so the results look incredible. So now let's do the next row. What we're going to do is an overlay, modify, and then turn the trim on again to trim to the boundary and quilt out the next row. First, I'll trim my threads so that they look nice on the back. And here we go. We go into overlay. And it redraws the, the quilting design again from a, a seed file. So it's redrawn so we can line it up nicely. Modify. And I think this one just goes directly down. So I lock my X and I move it down just like that. And that looks, that looks good. Turn the trim on, boundary, OK, done. And then move to the start point. Pull up my bobbin thread and press go. All 
All right, so that finished up and it looks great. Practice with the trim to boundary function as you see fit. It is, again, a very powerful feature. It allows the ability to quilt things from applique to art quilts, anything with that strange border shape where you want the design to fill that space but still look organic and like it's part of the quilt. So until next time, happy quilting.